Okay, you guys, so I just filmed, that's why I'm wearing the same thing. I just filmed um, my last video and I have it uploaded. It's been up for a couple hours now and I've just been watching some YouTube, doing some journaling and now I'm about to do some Legos. So I figured I want you guys to come on this Lego journey with me while I build the um, globe. So that is what we will be doing. And I do want to say one thing. People were like, why did you think this was the middle of the globe? So based on my past experiences with Legos, sometimes you do build the middle of something first. So I thought this was like the center of the globe, if that makes sense. I don't really know how else to describe it, but Legos in the past have done that before. And hi, baby girl. And another question, um... People have noticed there's always extra pieces at the end of a Lego. It's because those are just extras in case you, look at her rub on it. Just in case you lose like a small little piece, you'll have an extra. Um, how they pick and choose what extras you get, I don't know. But are you ready to do the next round? Yeah. So this is from two rounds and now we're about to do round number three. So we have a little voiceover moment. How I got into Legos, when I was a little girl, I remember I didn't have anything like this. Like this was too expensive, too great, too grand. But I did have a neighbor friend who was a couple years younger than me. I was about eight years old and he was six and he had so many Legos and I would go over there and just play with them for hours. So this obsession did start rather young. So I do want to say this globe is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, so exciting. I thought it was going to be smaller. Kind of what I depict right here. Not going to lie. Love the bigger size. You know, it's an SSBBW globe. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So this is not a voiceover vlog. It's not going to be like this the whole time. But I do have some voiceover moments. <clears throat> me clearing my throat. <laughs> I am cutting a watermelon. So I love me some watermelon. Usually I get pre-cut watermelon, which I love. I don't have to do it. I don't have to do the messy work, but I decided to get a full one. So here I am cutting it. I'm just cutting them in triangle pieces. But then with this last piece, I cut it in a way that like I could see people doing it at parties. So it's like a simple way situation type deal where you just grab just like that I don't know I saw this technique on TikTok and I thought I want to try it but I didn't want to do it with all the watermelon but look at that fresh goodness and here is the next day actually and I want to show you what Rarity does so she's obsessed with me she's currently sitting on my lap and I'm giving her the pets but watch what happens when I stop petting her watch her paw oh mama keep going I never told you to stop so this is just some little cat love I know you guys love my animals which means the world to me because I love them too look at her begging for more she's so sweet you guys have no idea how much I love this baby and how much I love wasabi and twinkie they're my worlds my worlds but yeah I just had to show this I thought it was so freaking cute okay if you guys hear noise because we're cooking some bacon i'm going to show you this idea that i had so that's what we're making right now it's just like a low-key situation type deal i hope the noise doesn't annoy anybody but so my id expired right and when your id expires you go get another id because that's what you're supposed to do hi so about a week ago i went to go do a new id moment and it already came in the mail, I'm not gonna lie, pretty quick. So we're gonna do like a first impression. Everyone loves seeing their ID, let's not lie. And we're always wondering, how does it look? Okay, oh, I'm nervous. This is like the ID, like what is it called? Not the standard ID, the one above that ID. to where you can like travel and such. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but like it matters. All right, first impressions. Wow, this one looks so different than the one that I have. 
Wow, I look better in this one, I gotta say. And I could definitely see a difference in weight loss, which is super exciting. In my first ID, I want to say that was about four years ago, and I weighed about 500 pounds. Even my signature has changed, which is really interesting. All right, you guys, I'm about to show you what I am making. You need a plate. We are going to use some of these wheat thins. This is the reduced fat moment. Now, I'm going to take egg salad and just put it on each wheat thin. Next step is some crispy bacon. Just a piece on each one. So it is complete, but I wanted to add a little scallion. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Taste test. Mm-hmm. That hits all the spots. All the spots. Okay, you guys, so I want to give you a little weight loss update, kind of where I'm at with like my binging and like what I'm doing currently. And I'm gonna tell you guys my weight and stuff like that. So during the time that I was bedridden due to my ankle, um, I spent a lot of time just like mentally unwell because of the whole situation that I turned to food um, daily for a few weeks. Um, it was just, I wanted to numb my anxiety and I felt helpless and I'm, you know, I suffer with binge eating. So obviously turning to food isn't shocking, especially my whole life since I was a little girl, that is what I did. You know, my parents would be, screaming at each other and my dad would be hitting my mom in the other room and I would be turning to food. That's just how I cope. A lot of people say, talk to someone about that. I do. I, I see a psychologist. It's not something I always talk about, but I do have an appointment with her tomorrow. I know a lot of people are like, well, she doesn't talk about it anymore. I don't talk about everything. It's just like, the same shit, different day, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me fix my hair real quick. I understand I should have fixed it before I got on camera, but I forget what I look like until I start filming because of the viewfinder. So yeah, I was turning to food and I did end up gaining weight. I did. Um, I got back in the 490s. I know. I know. But then once the pain was lessening, once I noticed that I was healing and I started moving more, my spirits um, truly arisen, they rose um, when it came to the, bin the binging aspect. Um, so I stopped binging as much, I stopped turning to food as much, and I noticed during this whole lung era that I'm dealing with, I'm not turning to food because I'm fearful of food. <laughs> um, so I'm eating a lot less. So the mixture of like not being bed bound anymore and just that whole mentality being gone, I am back on track. I've been partially back on track. I'm not doing like absolutely amazing. Like it's no, you guys, you've been watching me for how long? <laughs> Thankfully, from the whole bedridden era, I am losing the weight that I have gained. Uh, like I said, I got back in the 490s. It was devastating. Today, I weighed in at 481.6. So we're definitely not at the lowest that I was, but I'm back to being like really intuitive about what I'm eating, paying attention to calories while not actually counting calories. People have questioned me in the past, like, what does that mean? I can't stop paying attention to calories. There are times where I'm still like calorie obsessed per se while not counting calories. It's just... 
I can't help it. It comes natural to me because of all of the years, like over a decade, like a decade and a half of just like counting calories all the time. So that is what like my body and my intuition is just so used to. But uh, like I'm trying to pay attention to those things again. It's been like a few weeks of getting back to like, okay, it's time to lose weight. You had your freaking pity party. Um, so yeah, it just feels good. I haven't binged in a week and a half. So I'm proud of that. And by not binging, I just naturally lose weight because binging is what like makes me gain weight and I retain ton of water and stuff like that. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. So again, 481.6 was my weigh in today. So for dinner, I am making a homemade chicken and rice soup, I guess. I don't know. I just was craving something along these lines. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this. I just hope that wifey likes it. I'm a little, I don't know. I get nervous when people try my cooking, but she has liked everything that I've made. And yes, this is a mess because that is how I cook. I make a mess. She did like it. So I'm very happy about that, but I'm actually about to end my vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.